Hi guys, welcome to Alexandria Camping Center. My name is Dominic and we're here today to show you the 2022 Grand Design Imagine 2970 RL. This is a 29 foot model listed by the door, but is actually 34 feet, two inches long. It is a half ton towable model at 89.95 GVWR and just over 7,300 pounds dry. It is a couple's coach RL rear living room. So if you're looking for a bunk model, maybe toggle over to one of our other family models. Without further ado, let's get into this 2970RL. Grand Design makes it nice and easy for us in the yard. They have a nice sticker on their tongue jacks. I haven't seen too many manufacturers do that, but it is nice when you have 20 imagines and you're trying to find that perfect one. This one has a power tongue jack with a light integrated for evening docking. In a hit of a button, you go up and down. There is a manual override, so not to worry if you run out of power. A beautiful painted front cap with integrated LED light strips. There's a little switch in the pass-through storage, which I'll turn on to show you what those look like. So this gives you some nice ambiance at the campsite and helps you find your trailer when you go out in the evening and come back. You have a nice check plate on the front and a little bit of rhino lining off the bottom of the painted front cap. This helps prevent those nasty stone chips while traveling. Two 20 pound bottles with the auto switch over propane regulator. This is just for ease of use. You know, 20s are very exchangeable at most, you know, propane swaps. Spot for up to two batteries on the front. And then in the front here, you have a massive pass-through storage. Big slam latch heavy duty baggage doors with the magnet catches, so no little spring clips. But the floor line is actually towards this molding here. They do a drop frame in the front of this coach going down about eight inches. Put in the biggest baggage door they can to give you tremendous pass-through storage space. Integrated motion sensor LED lights make it a breeze when you're opening up the door with your hands full, you can see what you're doing. Water management system over here, hot and cold on the outside shower. City water can be fed right through the bottom to keep the entire unit very clean. And then you have a battery disconnect, satellite cable plugs, and a 110 outlet. Really nice and clean and convenient. New on the later Imagines is a tire monitor prep. So TPMS system is a Lippert product, and we sell the accessory kit inside in our parts department. Dry weight, exactly 73, 46, and 89, 95 GVWR, giving you about 1,600 pounds of cargo capacity. You have a gravity-fed, water fill for your fresh tank, a six gallon high recovery gas electric hot water tank, black tank flush system, which is nice for rinsing out your black holding tank, a little LED scare light to see your hookups to the termination sewer valve, 50 amp service on this model, as it has a nice 15,000 BTU air conditioning and a fireplace. Exhaust for your 30,000 BTU furnace, which is nice on the opposite door side. All these fumes are going to the neighbor and not hanging out on your campsite side. Scissor jacks in every corner of the coach to help stabilize the unit, folks. Not lift, stabilize. LED lights on inside and outside. Nice big ladder to get up to the roof, 300 pound capacity. On that roof, you will find a 165 watt solar panel, which is standard equipment on this Imagine. It's designed with a 12 volt, 10 cubic foot refrigerator to keep you off grid and keep your battery bank full. Really nice to see a lot of these manufacturers, especially Grand Design leading the way with standard solar equipment. Backup camera prep in the middle if you want to add a rear view camera while you're traveling. Spare tire carrier and a nice Alexandria cover going on there once you make that purchase. This is a completely laminated hard wall unit. Really nice design, really nice lines. The new graphics package for 2022, so you'll notice the Imagine logo is a little different. Some of the striping is a little more square and the front cap has a different color combo, which just updating the look and keeping things fresh. On the door side, you can't help but notice that this unit has a door side slide, so they separated the big, big awning and giving you 21 feet of awning, but in two separate units. So you could set up your dining area over there and some camping chairs over here. 
really nice LED light strips under each awning. Outside speakers so you can listen to music out by the fire. Flip down, more ride, solid steps which are adjustable on the bottom so can help you get that perfect angle in contact with the ground so they don't feel springy like traditional steps and when they're in it doesn't protrude into your skirting so it keeps the lines really clean and also prevents you know the steps from rusting over time which is really a nice nice feature big grab handle to get in on the foundation kind of hard to point out with the slide here but you have good year endurance nitro filled tires so it's nice to see a, a name brand on the foundation of your coach and if you link up a TPMS system to monitor the temperatures it's just gonna be that much better and safer for you and your family on the road so that's enough talking outside let's go inside check it out So coming into the interior of the 2970 RL, rear living room, beautiful open concept with opposing slides, gives you this tremendous feel when you walk in here. Beautiful island in the middle, so kind of gourmet kitchen uh, for the chef away from home. You have door side dining. This is upgraded with a table and uh, four chairs. It's a solid wood table, which has a really nice feel. Um, solid wood chairs and big windows overlooking your lot. A lot of trailers out there have the dining on the opposite door side and then you're looking at the neighbor all day. It's nice to be looking at your campsite. This is also upgraded with uh, some nice theater seats. These have heat integrated, blue LED lights and massage. So you just hit the button and they are theater seats so they recline. So you just pull on that and they're wall huggers so they go all the way back really nice and comfortable right directly across from your entertainment system so that makes it nice for viewing a, a flick in the evening you can't help but notice that modern style fireplace which is really nice gives you some heat or ambiance uh, if you want to take the chill out there's 5000 BTUs of electric heat no um, propane needed on that guy no firewood either across the rear of the coach you have a trifold sleeper sofa which is great for those guests that you might have, but you don't want to keep them too comfortable so they don't stay too long. I'll demo how easy it is to set this up for your guests. You have two folding legs and they go down like that. And then the back will just flip down like that. So you have a spot for two adults, very comfortable, no bars in your back, no traditional little skinny hide a bed mattress and no air bed so really nice secondary sleeping and it's at the rear of the coach so it's not by a doorway a lot of rear living rooms in the market have a door at the back so then you would be blocking your entry door this is really nice and this is all thomas Payne furniture from lippert really nice finishing on it so it's easy to keep clean it's a synthetic material and it matches the decor with the lighter cabinets in this Imagine. Very modern. They have a slab finish on the newer Imagines um, with the hidden hinges, some nice overheads here. All LED lights, big sliding windows on most of those windows, and beautiful blackout roller shades help give you that privacy or keep the coach cooler in the dead of summer. Some nice storage in, in here, and you can't help but notice this nice pantry so this is awesome for all your dry goods there's a light that you can set up on a motion sensor so when you would open it up it would go on in the island you have a beautiful recessed sink with this little thingamajiggy I'm not sure what it's called but it's nice you can comment below if you know what it's called but it rolls up out of the way when you're not using it you can wash actual pots and pans in here with the high-rise faucet and sprayer and then when you're done washing your dishes you can just place this in place and let them dry over the sink which is really a nice touch four drawer or three drawers here nice and big all ball bearing drawer glides and then you get some nice storage below you can fit a trash bin underneath the island which is nice and then you got three more drawers over here so six drawers on the island big pots and pans drawer over here with a little game now this is for your pots and pans so you'll organize it accordingly you can prevent your you know nice 
pots and pans from flying around during transit. We have a recessed range with a three burner cooktop with a little glass backsplash and they also do a nice backsplash that matches the counters. A little nice touch that Grand Design goes above and beyond. LED lights built in. If you didn't have enough with the uh, theater seats and you want more, you're there. And then a little oven for any baking you want to do away from home. A little storage on the side of the range and above next to the microwave. And there's a fan built in and a light built in this Furion hood range and a microwave for popping some popcorn. We talked about this fridge outside, but we'll show you inside. It's the black Furion 10 cubic foot, not gas and electric folks. This is a 12 volt fridge. So look at the space you have for all your storage needs and it's running on 12 volt power. So this is nice because you can travel with it on with your battery bank and the solar package charging those batteries. It's a little safer than people that choose to run their propane fridge while traveling those longer distances. This will run off those batteries, no problems, very nice. Little coffee bar over here with another backsplash matching the countertops. These are molded countertops with no T-edge, uh, T-mold, sorry. So water's not gonna infiltrate the corners and it's keeping the weight down because that's not a true solid surface, but still really nice and almost looks like one. Two big drawers over here, so it gives you more storage. You have overheads with tons of storage, so all your dishes or whatnot you wanna put there. And then the Compass Connect app, which corresponds to this monitor panel over here, right by the entry door, which is conveniently located. So this will do your lights inside outside your water pump your gas electric on the hot water all your levels on your tanks your two awnings your two slides but you can connect it with bluetooth downloading this qr code from the app store you're basically going to link up your phone it's going to allow you to control your slides remotely from outside your awnings if you're out and you want to show off to your friends the lights and, and the full kit so really a nice piece of technology, RV Smart Center. I think that's a big thumbs up. Right by the entry door, you can't help but notice the bathroom location. This is nice because if you're out by the fire, you wanna hop in, use a restroom. You're not tracking mud all through the entire coach. This is a side aisle bathroom with a nice pocket door. I'm a huge fan of pocket doors. They don't come into the hallway. They're, they're, they're a nice space saver for that. This has a porcelain foot flush toilet, a little storage cabinet above with a towel bar, nice kind of um, rectangular shaped oversized shower with a Nautilus shower door. It's spring loaded. There's a squeegee built into here to prevent mold and mildew buildup and it helps keep that shower curtain taut while you're showering and when you're traveling, it's nice and together and not swinging around on you. Skylight above, and little spots for your soaps. And then you've got a nice vanity set up with tons of storage, medicine cabinet with a mirror, storage, three drawers, some storage below, and three, four cubbies for all your towels and linens that you need in the washroom. So if we shoot to the front of the coach, this is where the master suite is. This is a 6080 queen bed. Some nice little reading lights built in with blue or regular lighting, padded headboard. I love these little cubbies they're doing with the Imagine lineup of products. So you can see they're perfect for a CPAP machine, your cell phone, your book, your reading glasses. There's a 110 plug and a USB plug in there. So really nicely incorporated into these wardrobes without compromising your hanging space and most wardrobe areas only have one drawer i'm going to point out that imagine two two and two so six drawers in this bedroom on the back side of that shower in the washroom they have a little bit of dead space but they optimize it with a beautiful extra wardrobe so you know if mister has some nice jackets and he wants to hang them up you're all set, you got some extra space, and then you got two nice drawers. You'll notice that the venting for the furnace is all done off the sides. Grand Design typically does not cut into the foundation of the floor to compromise the structural integrity of the coach. They don't give you those eyesores where your pets can get, get into those vents with their paws and nails. It doesn't collect dirt and debris, and if you think about it, the heat coming off the side pushing into the coach rather than going straight up 
is a lot more efficient. We talked about the 6080 queen bed. There's some nice storage below. I love how Grand Design incorporates the struts in this little storage bin. So if you have stuff you're accessing every day, you wanna put your socks in there, for example, it's not gonna mix up with the, the bedding that you don't use and you wanna find it easily. 50 amp power cable, marine gray double locking. That's your little spray port outside coiled hose and a little crank for your jacks. So really nice. And then you have an emergency exit window over here. Not to, to worry, you have a blackout roller shade so you can get that privacy, hopefully sleep in. So this wraps up our tour of this 2970 RL Imagine. Thanks for watching with us today. I'm Dominic, this is Alexandria Camping. If you liked the video, consider hitting that thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos to come, hit that bell notification to be notified when we drop that new content. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Comment below if you have anything you want to see that we didn't talk about and have a wonderful day.